Hare. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Jana Vallabha Giribada Dhari Jana Bhallabha Giribada Dhadhe Yaso Dhanna Dhanna Vrata Jana Thandana Yaso Dhanna Dhanna Brajajana Ranjana Yamuna Thira Vanna Chahare Yamuna Thira Vanna Chahare Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Timirandasya Yananjana Shalakaya Jakshurum Militam Yenatas Mai Shigurabhe Namaha Sri Chaitam Namano Bistam Stapitam Yenabu Tales Vayam Rupa Kadamahayam Dadatishva Padantikam Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaivo Narutamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyazam Tatojayam Udhirayet Shrinvatam Svakata Krishna Punna Shravana Kirtanam Riddhyanta Stoya Badrani Vidunoti Surit Satam Nashta Prayesva Badreshu Nittam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 
Angana Bhagavati Vasudhaya So Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Kijai, we are reading from 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 31st chapter, the Gopis' songs of separation, the verse is number 9, famous verse. Tava Katamritam Tapta Jivanam Kavibir Iditam Kalma Sapaham Shravana Mangalam Shrimad Hatatam Bhubi Grinanti Ye Bhuri Da Janaha Tadakatam Ritam Tapta Jibanam Kavi Biriditam Kalma Sapaham Shravana Mangalam Shrimadatatam Bhuvigrinanti Yebhuri Da Janaha Tadakatam Ritam Tapta Jivanam Kavi Biriditam Kalma Sapaham Shravana Mangalam Shrimadatatam Bhuvigrinanti Yebhuri Da Janaha Tavakatam Ritam Tapta Jivanam Kavi Biridi Tankalma Sapaham Shravana Mangalam Shrimadatatam Bhuvi Grinanti Yebhuri Dajana Today, okay, it's late. Okay, we go ahead. Tava, your kata amritam, the nectar of words. Tapta jivanam, life for those aggrieved in the material world. Kavibi, by great thinkers. Iditam described Kalmasa Apaham that which drives away sinful reactions. Shravana Mangalam giving spiritual benefit when heard. Shrimat filled with spiritual power. Atatam broadcast all over the world. Bhuvi in the material world. Grinanti chant and spread. Ye those, excuse me, those who. Buridha most beneficent. Janaha persons. Translation and purport by Srila Prabhupada. Uh, no, the purport is by the servants of Srila Prabhupada because this is 31st chapter. Anyhow, translation. The nectar of your words and the descriptions of your activities are the life and soul of those suffering in this material world. These narrations transmitted by learned sages, eradicate one's sinful reactions and bestow good fortune upon whoever hears them. These narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled 
with spiritual power. Certainly, those who spread the message of Godhead are most munificent. Translation, please repeat. The nectar of your words and the descriptions of your activities are the life and soul of those suffering in this material world. These narrations transmitted by learned sages eradicate one's sinful reactions and bestow good fortune upon whoever hears them. These narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power. Certainly, those who spread the message of Godhead are most munificent. King Prataparudra recited this verse to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu during Lord Jagannath's Ratha Yatra festival. While the Lord was resting in a garden, King Prataparudra humbly entered and began massaging his legs and lotus feet. Then the king recited the 31st chapter of the 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, the songs of the gopis. The Chaitanya Charitamrita relates that when Lord Chaitanya heard this verse, beginning Tabakatamritam, he immediately arose in ecstatic love and embraced King Prataparudra. The incident is described in detail in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya 14, 4, 18, and in his edition, Srila Prabhupada has given extensive commentary on it. So the nectar of your words and the descriptions of your activities are the life and soul of those suffering in this material world. These narrations, transmitted by learned sages, eradicate one's sinful reaction, reactions and bestow good fortune upon whoever hears them. These narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power. Certainly, those who spread the message of God are most munificent. Mukam karoti vachalam pangur langayate girim yat kripat mahambande shri gurum dinatarhinam paramananda madhavam sri chaitanya mishwaram Hare Krishna. So, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, this verse is mentioned. Uh, King Prataparudra takes the Vaishnava Vesha, takes the dress of a Vaishnava, humble dress, enters the garden where Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is resting in ecstatic love and starts speaking the Gopi Gita, you know, the 31st chapter of the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. And uh, Bhakti Charmaj will correct me if my Bengali is, you know, faulty. But as far as I can recollect, Sunite Sunite Prabhura Santosa Abhara, you know. As, as soon as he hears Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, he feels a, an unprecedented satisfaction. Uh, bola Bola, he says, Bola Bola, Boli Prabhu, uh, Boli Parabara, you know. Keep, keep, keep saying, keep speaking, keep speaking. He is, he is in ecstasy, you know. He's, he's there lying down and this somebody, he knows who he is, but if somebody comes in a, in a different dress, massaging his feet, and he starts singing the Gopi Gita. So he's in ecstasy. And then, after that, he says, Tavakatam, tavakatam rita shloka ye uh, uh, raja ye bul, uh, uh, raja ye paliya uh, pali, or something yeah tavakatam rita shloka raja ke paliya ute prema veše prabu alingana kaila you know uh, as soon as he hear this verse Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gets up in ecstatic love and embraces him and and then. King Prataparudra, you know, uh, is there and with 
embraced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who tells him, this is such a valuable jewel that the only th I, I have nothing else to give you back, only my embrace, which, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's embrace is, <laughs> we all would like to have it, maybe, uh, by Prabhupada's mercy one day. <laughs> so, um, so this verse is, is, is very, very important because it contains a lot of truth, the essential truth. Katamritam is the only solace and the only uh, way for a conditioned soul, for a suffering conditioned soul, to get out of the material world and go back to Krishna's lotus feet. There is no other way. Um, Brahma says in the, in the Brahma Samhita, it talks about um, the Katamrita actually. Uh, it says, Ananda chinma yarasatma tayamanazu yat praninam pratipalam smaratam upitya lila itena bhuvanani jayatya jasharam govinda madi purusham tamaham bhajami. I worship Govinda, the Supreme Lord, whose glory ever triumphantly dominates over the mundane world by his own, by the activities of his own pastimes. So he dominates over the mundane world, his pastimes, and, the reco and then he says, uh, being reflected in the minds of recollecting soul as the transcendental entity of blissful cognitive rasa. That means that Krishna's pastimes, when, uh, when they are narrated, his name, his pastimes, his quality, they triumph, they conquer over any obstacle that can be in the minds of the conditioned soul. How is that? Why is that possible? Because when Krishna Kata is, is you know, enacted, then there is a gate that opens, a gate to Krishna's heart. We penetrate Krishna's heart through Krishna Kata. And what's in Krishna's heart is unlimited tenderness, sweetness, affection, love, emotions. That's Krishna's heart. And all this is of the nature of his personality. No, no, they are not just notions or concepts or poetic, you know, uh, poetic creations. They are aspects of his personality. Ananda chinma yarasa pratibhavita vistabiriya eva nijarupa kata taya kalabi. Everything that is in Krishna's heart as the nature of his personality and his emotions, wonderful, perfect, supreme emotion is Radharani. So she is Mahabhava Svarupini, the, the pinnacle of emotion. So when one has the access to Krishna's heart, then he associates with all these aspects of Krishna's personality. He, he really associates with his intimate life, his intimate inner life. Now, when that happens, one becomes, uh, how do you say, wrapped. One becomes so attached, so attracted, so much attracted that he cannot give it up. That's why you can see the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in, in, the, in the position of a devotee. What does he do all the time? He chants, he dances, and Krishna Kata. That's, that's all he does. In the Gambira, with his intimate associate, is Krishna Kata. He wants to hear, because, as once Prabhupada said, uh, for an advanced devotee, to hear about Krishna and to embrace Krishna is the same thing. So, these narrations of Krishna's qualities and, and, and pastimes, you know, for this advanced devotee, is, is non different from embracing all those personalities, all staying with them, associate with them. And when that happens, the fake reality, I mean, not fake, but, you know, the illusory reality of this material world vanishes. 
disappears, entering into the internal potency of Krishna through Krishna Kata, through Katamritam, through this nectar of, you know, that clears up all the sinful reactions that are, that are the causes for us to still identify with this material atmosphere. The difference in spiritual life and material life is that in material life we are bound by an artificial, overimposed uh, sense of reality, perception of reality, and that is caused by the modes of nature. Karanaguna Sangosyat Sadasajoni Jamas. We, we, because of this association, we we think that this is real, the material world is real. And the material world not only has uh, the external objects, but the uh, emotions, sensations, sentiments, love, affection, attractions that the external objects cause to the mind. And in illusion, we think that these are our own forms of love, our own forms of affection, our own forms of attractions, our own, and that also becomes embedded in a culture with a certain language, uh, in a land. People feel that all these feelings are there, attachment, separation. People feel separation from one's own land or, or one's own family, so-called one's own land, so-called one's own family. Yeah, and and all these aspects of the inner psychology of the conditioned soul are but a creation of the modes of nature. Hare Krishna. It's very hard for the conditioned soul to accept that. But as long as the conditioned soul wants to own, wants to own his senses, his mind, and the products of the mind, the feelings, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, the sentiments, the desires of the mind, as soon, as long as he wants to own those, he will live in the material world. Krishna Kata enacts a transformation of the soul's attitude. The soul starts realizing, due to attraction for Krishna, starts realizing that these senses are not my senses. They are not limited to my proprietorship, but they are parts of Krishna's senses. This mind is part of Krishna's mind. All elements are part of Krishna's energy. And also the products, my, my desires, essentially and originally, are part of Krishna's desire. My emotions, my sentiments, my feelings are part of, of Krishna's emotions, sentiments and feeling. I don't have an independent existence. My, I, I cannot possess independent emotions from Krishna's emotions. I cannot possess <coughs> independent desires, feeling, in my constitutional position, independent from Krishna's feelings, Krishna thoughts. Krishna. So, that doesn't mean that I'm an automaton, that I'm a robot, that I'm a cyborg or something, and, and I'm, you know, with a joystick, Krishna is guiding me, I don't have anything on my own. This is the secret of uh, the Achinta Beda Beda Tattva. It's all part of Krishna. We are part of Krishna. Even our identity is part of Krishna's identity. It's part and parcel of Krishna's identity. At the same time, uh, it's inconceivably uh, different. It has its own uh, existence, its own minute, you know, uh, independence so that we can serve, so that we can have rasa, so that we can have a relationship uh, in bliss. So that's, that's the difference. When a devotee is in his, in his constitutional position, and particularly when he has access to the, the beautiful, you know, 
inner nature, you know, uh, of Krishna. By inner nature, we say internal potency. We mean that. And it, when, it, when the soul can go back to the internal potency, then he naturally leaves a perfect um, harmony, lives in perfect harmony and in oneness, Prabhupada says, with Krishna. In oneness with Krishna, because Krishna can evoke all the desires, the sentiments, the feelings, the love, the affection of the soul in a, at that point in a totally free state. The soul is free at that point. While here, you know, is always conditioned. Whatever you do, whatever you do in this world, however pious, virtuous, good you may be, however, you know, good, good mean, you know, good sentiments you may have, it is always going to be an illusory farce. An illusory farce, a theatrical performance. And and that will not bring any, 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 any real result. Just like in the material world, you know, we can see, just to give an analogy, we can see some people go a little, little nuts, you know, go a little strange, become a little strange. Now, for, I just learned, uh, read, that in America there are 27,000 imitators of, uh, what's, you know, What's his name? Elvis Presley. 27,000 imitators of Elvis Presley. And they, they dress like Elvis. You know who Elvis Presley is? You know, you know the rock and roll singer, 50s, 60s, you know. So they all dress like him, with the hair like him, with the same cloth. And some of them get, become so crazy. One person, one of them particularly, became so crazy that he had wife and two children. So he asked them, don't call me Mark anymore, you call me Elvis. And if the wife of the children would call him Mark, which was his name, he would be, sorry, he would be very disturbed. And he came to the point of beating his wife. Uh, because he was saying, I am Elvis. I am, you know, look. Can't you recognize me? I'm Elvis. And he was developing emotions, sensations, feelings, relations, uh, desires of Elvis Presley. Not, not of the real Elvis Presley, but what he thought was Elvis Presley. But all this was <laughs> unreal. It wasn't real. It's not real. So they had to arrest him at the end. They had to put him in jail because he was, you know, torturing his family, you know, thinking that, make, wanting them to believe that he was Elvis Presley. Now, the same thing we do in this material world. We come, I think, I am a man or I'm a woman, I'm Italian, I'm Indian, I'm American, I'm human, I'm superhuman, subhuman, whatever it is. We have, we, the modes of nature, act on us just like on this Elv fake Elvis Presley man. They try to make us believe we are not. And we work out our whole life trying to create, trying to create uh, 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 relationships and love and etc. Uh, etc. Et and we fail, miserably fail. At the moment of death, whatever we are trying to grasp or be, remain attached to, they will be taken away. No one emotion, no one feeling, not one desire of this particular life will follow you in the next life. I mean, some simple reaction may follow us, <laughs> that's for sure. We get, you know, there are, you know, in different stages, the simple reaction. But the mentality, the forma mentis, the way we think, we desire, we feel in this life, uh, we, we understand things in this life will not follow us. It will be totally annihilated by death. The same object of the senses uh, that this life I could desire, for example, as a man, 
A man desires a woman. So this man desires a woman. That's an object of the senses, object of desire. If that man is reborn as a tiger, he will desire the same object of the senses, but in a different way. The man will desire the, the woman to marry her, and the tiger will desire the woman to eat her. They will both appreciate the form, <laughs> the consistency, but for different reasons. The tiger will want to, you know, will think, oh, I mean, if I get this woman, or whatever in his mind is called, I can have a meal for the whole family, you know. We can all eat peacefully for a week or something, especially if the lady is quite, you know, she's got a good body. So, <laughs> the thing is, you know, the, the, uh, the desires and the forms of understanding, uh, feeling, emotion, they change drastically. There is nothing left. Nothing like Why? Because it's a theatrical performance enacted by the three modes of nature. But if we go back to Krishna, through Katamritam, through the Krishna Kata, then all this is removed and the good of, and, and the auspiciousness of, you know, go, moving back to the, to the transcendental world becomes perceived. It's perceivable. And those, Burida Janaha, those who, who, who bring this message, are the most munificent personalities. And, and our, our duty as conditioned souls is to follow them, as to, as to grasp their feet uh, and, and, and follow them. You know, uh, what is that? Tanna Marupa Charitadi Sukirtananos Marityo Kramena Rasanama Nazini Yoja Tistan Vraje Taranuragi Jananugami Kalam Nayedde Akilamiti Upadesha Saram The essence, Saram, Upadesh, of all Upadesh is to uh, follow inhabitants of Vrindavan and our inhabitant of Vrindavan is Srila Prabhupada that came to, you know, to, uh, and to establish Krishna Kata, Katam Maritam, the Sankirtan movement amongst us, we have to grasp his feet and follow him, you know, without hesitation, without doubt, hesitation. Devote your life, Yaktva Svadharman Charanambu Jamahe, you know, what is the problem if one even, you know, has, has some problems? You know, we see in the, in the history of a movement, the devotees have had some problem, never mind. It's, it's circumstantial, temporary. They will go back to Krishna because they have served Srila Prabhupada. Whoever serves Srila Prabhupada, whoever follows uh, the footsteps of the, the Mukta Purusha, the liberated soul that has come to establish through his books, basically, the Katamritam, uh, if those of if we fo those who follow that, they will never be lost. Somebody else may be a big Shastri, a big this, big that, big Brahmin, big uh, learned scholar, 25, you know, PhD, whatever, recognitions. But if he's not, you know, Niskin Chananam, Navrinita Yav, if he doesn't take, in this age, in this particular age and, and time, if he doesn't take the dust of Srila Prabhupada upon his head, he is lost. Whatever he does, it won't bring him any benefit. So, it, the most munificent person has come to us, Srila Prabhupada, uh, and we can fulfill the purpose of this verse by following his instruction, by chanting, by reading his books, by discussing Krishna Katha together, by entering the transcendental ecstasy of our founder Acharya, which is sitting in Krishna's heart. And then Krishna, Lord Chaitanya will say, Oh, this boy, this girl belong to me. They belong to me. This soul belongs to me. It's mine. And that's the perfection of our life. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. So, are there any questions or comments? Uh, I sort of shrinked it because 
No, we got a little late. No questions or comments? Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam Grantaraj Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Srinitai Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bo. Hare Krishna.